All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR coming at you again with another video. So I promise you, I wasn't even gonna make a video on this, right? I, I promise you, because I read the headline, I'm like, okay, cool, I don't, I don't care, no big deal, I'm not gonna talk about it. But then I saw the extreme, strange tribal reactions to this, and I was like, okay, now I gotta make a video on it, right? But once again, not something I care about. But uh, about half an hour ago, it was announced that Microsoft uh, confirmed that Activision Blizzard games will release on PlayStation beyond the uh, existing agreements. Now, of course, this was something was that was in question for a while. We know PlayStation, uh, Microsoft. What? Mike, yeah, it was Microsoft that that confirmed um, that the next three Call of Duty games would be on uh would be on PlayStation. Um and now they're confirming that even beyond the existing agreements, more Call of Duty games, not only Call of Duty games, but Activision Blizzard games may also release on PlayStation. It'll probably be a case by case basis. I wouldn't go as far as saying every uh Activision Blizzard game will be on PlayStation. I doubt it'll be like that. They're definitely gonna keep some stuff for themselves, I presume. Um so I'm just going to read uh, from this uh, blog page, this post. And what I find interesting also um, is they didn't post this on the Xbox blog page because Xbox has their own blog page and then Microsoft has their own, right? And the fact that they put this on the Microsoft blog page tells me that this is beyond gaming. This, this, is, this is more about business and uh, this supersedes it just being an Xbox thing because this obviously, this this deal that they made with Activision was, you know, the biggest deal, you know, in, in gaming history, right? And it has a lot more implications than it just being solely gaming. So I guess that's why they put it on the um, uh, Microsoft blog page. And you could tell I wasn't going to talk about this because look, 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 my shirt is all, all wrinkled, even though some of y'all going to say, BG, your shirt be wrinkled anyway. That's besides the point. Okay, so let's read what it says. I'm not reading everything, just the pertinent part. Uh, it says, to be clear, Microsoft will continue to make Call of Duty and other popular Activision Blizzard titles available on PlayStation through the term of any existing agreement with Activision. And we have committed to Sony that we will also make them available on PlayStation beyond the existing agreement and into the future so that Sony fans can continue to enjoy the games they love. We are also interested in taking similar steps to support Nintendo's successful platform. We believe this is the right thing for the industry, for our gamers, and for our business. So it's interesting that they mention Nintendo, right? Because they didn't have to do that, right? There, and there hasn't been a Call, a Call of Duty game um, since, like, what, Black Ops or something on, 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 on a Nintendo platform? And I don't remember, like, I don't know how many of these. Well, Crash, I think a few of the Crash Bandicoot games, but a lot of these Activision Blizzard games are not on Nintendo. Right, we know Nintendo doesn't necessarily have. Uh, uh, they, it's better than it was like on the Wii U, but um, they're still lacking a lot of third-party uh, support, mainly because of you know the the power that the Switch is lacking. And when games do go to that platform, they're a shell of what they actually should be. So I think this is actually them kind of extending, uh, you know, I guess an olive branch to Nintendo and saying, hey, even though um, these games haven't been on your platform recently. Uh, we actually want to put it there because what other reason do they have to like really name drop Nintendo? Nintendo doesn't care about Call of Duty. Like Nintendo doesn't need to be on Call of Duty. Like I mean, Call of Duty doesn't need to be on a Nintendo platform. I don't think Nintendo really cares if Call of Duty is on their platform. Nintendo's fine. It's Microsoft clearly by this statement they want to put it on there. Nintendo. If Nintendo never got a Call of Duty game or honestly uh, any Activision Blizzard game, they wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't bat an eye. This is Microsoft wanting it on there. Let's be clear, that's what this is, and and you and that's understandable, right? Um, because that seems to be their strat their strategy. They want to put these games seemingly uh, everywhere, and for what reason? I mean, you could point to several things. The obvious thing people would say is 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 money. Right? Why put it on your one uh, or two platforms, Xbox and PC, when you could put it on Nintendo, PlayStation, everything like that, you know, uh, and and make all make all the the, the money um, that 
that uh, well, not all the money, but obviously part of the the money, the percentage that you get from people buying this game on other platforms. Um, people, you could also propose that them doing this has something to do with the FTC uh, um, regulators investigating this Activision Blizzard deal, right? Because it's said that uh, this acquisition is going to be investigated by the FTC. Now, let's be clear. Even prior to this, I'm, I'm pretty sure FTC wouldn't actually find that there was any like violation that they would be able to cancel this Microsoft uh, Activision Blizzard deal. I don't think so. I th they said that you know after this deal that they would look into the policies and look into changing a few things so that you know they it, it kind of tightens up what you know. Uh, what type of acquisitions can be made and things like that. But this this deal was going to go through. I don't see a world where this, deal, where, where this deal doesn't go through. People who were wishing that are kind of honestly just desperate. Like, listen, it's going to go through. It's fine, right? But I think this is Microsoft kind of playing nice and, like, showing them, like, hey, you don't got to worry. We're still putting games, you know, the, these games everywhere, even though we acquired uh, the, this, uh, this um, publisher games are still going everywhere it's not it, it wasn't going to be a mon monopoly anywhere anyway right people i know people love to throw that word around it wasn't going to be a monopoly any anyway people need to actually understand what that word means and what qualifies as a monopoly this wasn't nowhere near a monopoly um it may feel mo monopolistic may not like it but it wasn't that so i think that's kind of uh what what this is it's, it's it's them i guess trying to get the f uh, get the FTC off their back and um, also trying to uh, still be viewed in a positive light. So I think they're being smart about it. And, and you know, this as far as far as I, I think it does play into this whole arms race um, between Microsoft and 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 Sony, whereas I don't want to say it's a publisher. Uh, arms race because PlayStation hasn't bought any publishers, but it is a uh, it is at least a developer arm arms race or an asset arms race, whatever you want to. And it's an acquisition arms race, whether it's publisher or developer, however you want to look at it. And both are making like these chess moves because you look at PlayStation getting Bungie, and then Bungie is a subsidiary of like um, Sony, but it's not under technically under PlayStation Studios, and and they're allowing all the games to go go places, and and then and then Microsoft announcing this. Don't think for a second like and and understand that like I'm not play, PlayStation buying Bungie was not a reaction, right? That deal was six months before, right? But I'm saying how they how they put how they propose these announcements. Right. As far as like the game, where the games are going to go, that's very intentional based on the current times and the current climate of what's happening. That's still in real time. The, the deals may happen. You know, whatever, six months ago, but how they write these things uh, when they're announced, I think that's very strategic. Um, but to get to the shits, I mean, listen. Dudes are losing their minds on on Twitter. Some dudes. I'm not gonna say it's a bunch. I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen a whole lot yet. Uh, I've seen, a, I've seen some. Some are definitely, you know, losing, losing their mind, going, going tribal, right? Uh, because a lot of people disagree with this. They wanted, you know, uh, Xbox to keep Call of Duty uh, exclusive to at least a console exclusive. They didn't want it to go to PlayStation. Um, like, of course, y'all, y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal with my cat, with my cats, man. Get out, get out. Um, that's how they felt, you know, fanboys wanted a win. And it's weird because a lot of people who are upset and I, yeah, I got to name Kid Smooth. My man is out there losing his mind going through the five stages of grief over this. When my guy doesn't even play Call of Duty, he doesn't give a damn about Call of Duty, right? This is all ammo in the console war. That's what, that's what it's about. A lot of, a lot of these dudes don't actually care about the games themselves they just care about the ammo so they can load their cannons in the war. That, that's all it is. And it's weird, bro. It's weird. If if things happen to games you actually play and games you care about and, and certain moves are made, 
I, I can understand you having like a strong feeling about that, a strong opinion about it. But when it's a game you don't actually care about, you don't play and you get upset about it, that is weird. It is odd. And you're too invested into this console war if it actually makes... My man is on Twitter talking about he's going to sell his PlayStation. He doesn't need this shit. He's making... He's he's tagging um, uh, my, uh, Microsoft and play and Sony on Twitter, uh, begging them to bargain to uh, damn near trying to make a trade for um, Spider Man and 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 Wolverine and 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 whatever. And PlayStation trades them that, and then Xbox is gonna give them something in exchange. Like, what the hell are we doing? We're having a draft. Are, are we just we we picking we making trades and picking drafts right now? That's what we doing, bro. My man is going through all the stages. Okay, it's it's embarrassing. Smooth, you're better than this. I care about you, my brother. I want you to do better than this. It, you looking bad out here, bro. You you going through all the stages, and I'm worried about you. Not only him, but other people too that don't even care about Call of Duty. I, you know, Call of Duty is a huge game. Nobody's denying that. And I'm gonna be real with you. I said it before, I wanted Call of Duty to stay exclusive to Xbox because it puts more pressure on PlayStation to continue. I'm going to say continue now because now we know they're they're putting this huge em emphasis on multiplayer slash games as a service games, which makes me, makes my heart very happy, as, as you all know. Um, but prior to that, I was like, I want as much pressure on PlayStation as possible to um, push multiplayer games and actually invest in them and actually care. Now, I don't really care more or less now because we know they're investing in it, right? So do I think this Call of Duty, uh, you know, being owned by Microsoft, like I, at least it, it still keeps them on their toes, I would say. Because at any time they could change their mind, like, hey, you know, this, this is going to be exclusive. So it at, least keep, it at least keeps PlayStation on their toes and they realize, okay, we can't keep ignoring the importance of multiplayer games because we lost one and it was like the biggest, you know, one of the biggest IPs in the gaming industry that makes a, a sh us a shit ton of money. And you take away Call of Duty, our fans don't necessarily, I mean, there are several other choices, but still. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm glad it still like puts a little bit of pressure on, on PlayStation because I want those uh, multiplayer games. Um, and, and there is other stuff to dissect from this, but you know, like this is not really something I care about. Like I said, so I don't want to make you know I be I know I be making them long ass think piece uh, videos that can go 20, 30, even 40 minutes, but this is not something I care about that much to make a 30 even 20 minute video of it. What am I, what, I'm about to hit 15, yeah. We, we about to wrap this up because ain't no way I'm gonna talk that long about something I don't care about, which is Call of Duty. You know, I, I care about the campaigns, I play those, but the, the, Activision doesn't even, even care about those campaigns no more. Like them shits be three hours and they, and they be mediocre. They were good before back in the day, but that may change under Microsoft now. Things may not be a annualized as we know. Things are changing. So yeah. It, but is overall, like I said, it is interesting to see the, the chess games that Microsoft is playing and PlayStation is playing and, and all that stuff. And um, yeah, it's because, you know, usually in, in the past, acquisitions and owning IPs used to be used as a it was a definite use of a chat of a, you know, it was a strategic, you know, piece to use against um, you know, your competitors, but that's not a hundred percent the case anymore. Um, it's, it's still exclusives. I think still are a huge determining factor. They're still extremely in, important, but it's not as, uh, it's not as black and white as it used to be. Exclusives aren't going anywhere. I don't believe that, but it's not as obvious what, will be exclusive and for how long and things like that those waters are a little bit uncertain so let me know what y'all think about this i'll catch y'all on the next video oh i'm live streaming the nintendo direct later that should be fun 
Um, pray for Smooth. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel. You know, hit the like button, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, man, um, we out of here. I've been live streaming Sifu, by the way. If you haven't been uh, watching that, oh, it's those live streams are amazing. Game is great. So yeah, peace, y'all.